A cannonball is launched into the air with an upward velocity of 347 feet per second from a 15 foot tall cannon. The height h of the cannonball after t seconds can be found using the equation h equals negative 16 t squared plus 347 t plus 15. Approximately how long after will the cannonball be at 600 feet high? And we're asked to round answers to the nearest tenth if necessary. We also want to determine how long later will the cannonball hit the ground. We'll be answering these questions graphically using the T84 graphing calculator. So the first step is enter the equation into y1. To do this, we press y equals. We'll be using y instead of h and x instead of t. So we enter negative 16 x squared plus 347 x plus 15. Before we press graph though, we need to adjust the window so we get a nice view of the graph. So let's press window. Let's change the x axis, the horizontal axis to go from negative two, enter to let's say eight, enter, and we'll scale the x axis by ones. And now for the vertical axis or y axis, because we're looking for the time it takes the cannonball to reach 600 feet high, Let's have the y-axis, the vertical axis, go from negative 50 all the way up to, let's say, 800. And let's scale the x-axis by 50s. If this window doesn't work, we'll come back and make adjustments. Let's go ahead and press graph. So based upon the graph, notice how we need to increase the y-maximum as well as increase the x-maximum. So we'll press the window key. And let's change the x maximum to let's say 15. Let's have the x scale be three. And now let's change the y maximum to let's say 1200. And let's change the y scale to 100. And we'll try it again. So let's press graph. Notice how again, we need to increase the y maximum as well as the x maximum. So we'll press the window key again and let's change the x maximum to let's say 30, enter. And let's change the y min to let's say negative 150, and the y maximum to let's say 2000. And let's press graph again and see if this looks better. So notice now we finally have a nice view of the quadratic function, and now we can answer the questions. Again, the first question is how long later will a cannonball be at 600 feet high? So let's press y equals, go down to y2 by pressing enter, and we'll enter y2 equals 600. By doing this, the points of intersection of these two graphs will tell us when the cannonball is at a height of 600 feet. So let's go ahead and press graph. These two points of intersection will tell us how long later the cannonball will be at a height of 600 feet. We can only find one point of intersection at a time. To do this, we'll press second trace for the calculation menu, option five for intersect, and now we'll move the cursor closer to the point of intersection we want to find. So let's move the cursor to the left and find the intersection point on the left first. So we can press the left arrow or we can hold it down and it should scroll. And somewhere over here is close enough. And now we press enter three times. So enter, enter, enter and notice how the height is 600 at a time of approximately 1.8 seconds. So let's go ahead and enter 1.8, the units are seconds, but there is going to be a second time, which we'll enter here after we enter a comma. So now going back to the graph, we'll now find the point of intersection on the right, so we press second trace, option five, move the cursor closer to this point of intersection, so we press the right arrow, we can hold it down and it'll scroll. I'll stop about here, press enter three times. So enter, enter, enter. And notice how the time here is approximately 19.8 seconds. So at 19.8 seconds, the height is 600 feet. So we enter 19.8 here. And now for the second question, we want to determine how long later will the cannonball hit the ground? Going back to the graph, that would be this point here, the horizontal intercept. Before we find this point though, let's go back to the window 
and let's decrease the y minimum to let's say negative 300. This will allow us to see more of the graph below the horizontal axis. Press graph. Now the horizontal intercept is also the zero of the function, so to find the horizontal intercept, we press second trace for the calculation menu, option two for zero. Notice how it's asking for the left bound. We need to place the cursor to the left of the horizontal intercept, which should be above the horizontal intercept. Let's say approximately here, press enter, and now it's asking for the right bound, which would be on a point below the horizontal intercept. Let's say here, press enter, and then enter again. Notice how the time is approximately 21.7 seconds when the height is approximately zero or the cannonball is on the ground. Notice how the calculator is showing scientific notation. This is one times 10 to the negative 10th, which is very close to zero. So our answer is approximately 21.7 seconds. Going back to the graph just for a moment, notice how there is another horizontal intercept here, but this would be where the time is negative, and because time can't be negative, we do not need to consider this horizontal intercept. I hope you found this helpful.